Well, the Department of Agriculture has declared this week to be National Grain Bin Safety Week. Stu Ellis joins us to illustrate the importance of the designation in this morning's report from the farm. Agriculture Secretary Purdue signed the proclamation designed to raise awareness that unloading 2019 corn from grain bins is fraught with peril. Gary Woodruff, a grain storage specialist with GSI, knows that firsthand. I've got three close personal friends, including one in high school, one ladder after college, and then one in the last 10 years, all who've, who knew the proper way to work, but did something they shouldn't have, and all three perished in the bin. Now, why do farmers continue to go in the bin when people like yourself say don't do it? Well, I think there's multiple reasons, but farming is an aggressive, have-to-get-it-done type business. You've got a short period to get it. If you don't get it, you may lose it. So everyone gets in the mode of, I have to do this. The problem is there's some things that you may get away with and maybe you have a damaged piece of equipment that costs you money or whatever. But in this case, anytime you enter the bin, you have a, a chance of not coming back out except in a body bag. There are expectations of a record number of deaths this year in grain bins. I'm trying to get everybody to keep in mind last year was a horrible year in terms of grain quality. Um, everything, and if you didn't dry to 14 and do all the things we talked about then, you're going to be in trouble. So you're going to have bad grain. I'm just going to tell you right now, if you did not dry to 14, you're going to have bad grain. That sets up the situation because you never see someone get entrapped that's not associated with, with grain out of condition. Don't be the next fatality. That's our report from the farm. I'm Stu Ellis with WCIA 3, your local news leader.